Zoe decides to bring this Aaron and Anna drama to her boyfriend, Luca. For what? Ooh, ask me, Nikki. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite. That is. What up, loves? It's naturally be Nikki. All right, it's just, it's not. <coughs> The vibrato, you feel me? It's just a little rusty. Boo, we back. <laughs> what up, loves? It's Naturally Be Nikki, and welcome back to my channel. Now that you're here, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe for all the latest tea I drop. I do appreciate you. Oh my God, y'all. It's been a little minute since I've been on here. I missed y'all, like for real, okay? Now, forgive me, you know, life. It's life right now, you feel me? It's a lot going on on my end, so please bear with me, y'all. But y'all know I had to give y'all this Grownish Review tea. You know, you know how we do it. So let's get into it. So we are picking right back up where we left off in March, okay? <laughs> Grownish is back from their hiatus, and we're back with Aaron talking to Zoe, okay? Now, Zoe's all types of distraught because she just got cut off by the fam, okay? I'd be crying too. But Aaron over here thinking that she's crying because he thinks that she found out about him and Anna. That's what he thinks. So, of course, of course, he messes up. In classic Aaron fashion, he messes it up. He spills the tea that him and Anna are a thing, okay? And that's how Zoe finds out about her best friend messing with her old boo thing. It's an evil world we live in. Y'all, when I say this second half of Grownish is about to be a mess, <laughs> it's about to be a mess. Y'all, like, honestly, truth is I'm tired. <laughs> and options are are really few, like seriously, I, I'm, I'm tired, I really am. Then we get to the core theme of this episode, girl code, okay, they break it down by definition. Don't date anyone your homegirl has been in a relationship with. Scratch relationship, replace it with situationship <laughs> because that's all Zoe and Aaron had, okay, was a situationship. Let's be clear here, y'all, they were never an item. All right, no matter all the back and forth, no matter all the riffs and rants, let's get to the T. The T is they were never official, not even close. Now y'all, I am a huge advocate for the girl code, okay? I am a firm believer that you should not be messing with your girl's uh, ex boot things. Like, uh, come on, it's plenty of fish out in the sea. I mean, plenty, okay? But, you know, there are rare instances where it may happen. But this is all the more reason that you should handle it quickly and carefully. Quickly and carefully. Anna did neither, okay? And that's what I have a problem with. I honestly believe had Anna came to Zoe in the beginning, in the very beginning for, before anything popped off and let her know what the deal was. She's kind of here for Aaron. She would like to pursue it, but as, you, as your girl, I want to run this by you and, and see how you feel about it before I proceed. That's all you had to say, girl. You turned what could have been a simple conversation into an all-out mess. An all-out mess. It's, it's above me now. You out here dating the man, kissing the man, doing the man, and now all of a sudden, you want to talk about it. As a friend, I would definitely have no choice but to look at you differently. Okay, I would definitely have to hit you with the mean side eye, like. <laughs> I mean, it really, it really makes you wonder, does Anna really care about the friendship? But y'all, even though I feel like Anna could have definitely did a better job of telling Zoe about her and Aaron, I still feel like Zoe is doing too much. Like her whole reaction when she finally did find out and when she finally did address Anna, it was real extra. I feel like it was real extra for somebody that was actually never in a relationship with Aaron. Like, Zoe, come on, sis. It ain't that serious. Like, I know you mad, I know you hurt, I know you a little, you feel away, but sis, was it that deep that y'all had to just end your whole friendship? Yeah, we're no longer best friends. You're just a girl I live with. I don't think it was that deep. Zoe really be getting on my nerves, okay? She really be getting on my nerves every day on time and never fails. Zoe decides to bring this Aaron and Anna drama to her boyfriend, Luca. For what? 
what? For what? Why are you talking about your past with your present? That's so disrespectful. Like, Zoe, you really be stressing me out, sis. Like, I just don't be understanding why your mouth gotta be so big and your priorities gotta be so messed up. Like, sis, why, why are you so perturbed that you gotta address your past with your present? Newsflash, he don't care, sis. I agree with Luca wholeheartedly. I feel like the fact that she brought this to her current man's doorstep implies that she still has feelings for her old thing. She still got feelings. You want that old thing back? Say it, sis. Speak up. Come on, because you're doing too much. You should have kept your mouth closed and told that to somebody who actually cared, because it wasn't Luca. I really wish that Zoe would put all this energy she's putting into Aaron and Anna into finding some income. Okay, sis, find some income. Your parents cut you off. You're about to be schoolless and homeless if you don't get it together. Get yourself together. Focus up, sis. You got a whole lot of college and no money. It's too much. But okay, y'all, that's all I got on the situation. Now I am curious to hear from y'all. Was Zoe fair with how she handled Anna? Let's keep the conversation going. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see y'all next video.